They told me. Son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. A city where the artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, rapture can become your city as well. Get over there. Now be quick about it. The splicers are going. 
Well, I suppose now is about as good a time as any to introduce a Let's Play. Hello guys, I'm Daniel Learmouth. I had to think about that for a second for some reason. And this is a Let's Play of Bioshock. Last time I did Fear, now I'm doing Bioshock. It's, uh, it's alright. That sort of blew up. Except you can still see it's static. Just a bit more. <laughs> like now, would you kindly find a crowbar or something? Bloody splicer. Sealed Johnny in before they. Goddamn splicers. Right. That usually takes a while to uh, activate, so I just water along. That's great for this. Got a little half up to reference there. Well, why would you do that? Okay. Just get our health back a little bit. Uh, eat all of the chips. Or crisps. And let's just pop over here. Get in the hypo. Now this bit. Um. Yeah. What I love about that scene, I'm not going to lie, is the fact that not only did our main character just decide, you know what would be a good idea? To take this juice thing off of there. Not only that, but to also inject it immediately with uh, absolutely no hesitation whatsoever. 
deeds of weirdness. And that isn't even the only bit of weirdness in this game. Because people who have played this game knows how weird this game can be. The people who have played this game also know how good this game can be. Actually. Now there are a few games that are, uh, that I guess you could say are ranked in terms of uh, first person games that I have played them. There we go. You can probably, uh, um, that first person games I've played the most would be Half-Life 1 and 2. Yeah, Half-Life 1 and 2, um, Fear, and Bioshock 1 and 2. Um, that went well. I can control myself! I can! Don't run! <laughs> He was on fire. Oh, wow. Listen, I've got a family. I need to get them out of here. But the splicers have cut me off from them. If you can reach them in Neptune's bounty, then maybe, just maybe, I know you must feel like the unluckiest man in the world right now, but you're the only hope I'll ever see my wife and child again. Go to Neptune's bounty. Find my family, please. Maybe this is. Right. Well, this seems interesting. Oh, I just noticed. in there. Reloading. There we go. If you spot a splicer in the water, hit him with the electro bolt. Can do. Well, there we go. That's one handy technique we've learned. Let's, uh, let's play this over here. Another New Year's, 
another night alone. I'm out and you're stuck in Hephaestus. Working. Huh. Imagine my surprise. Well, I just guess I'll have another drink. <laughs> Here's a toast to Diane McClintock. Silliest girl in Rapture. Silly enough to fall in love with Andrew Ryan. <laughs> Silly enough. Damn, I missed. Oh well. Hmm. Right. Well, I'm just going to say this first. Um, the version of the game I am running is the original PC release from 2007. Um, not the uh, remaster that I'll uh, mention a little bit later, but uh, yeah. Too spliced up. I'm too spliced up. Nobody's gonna want me. Oh boy. Hey Brenda, you care to tell me why you've had a hole in the wall the size of Plymouth Rock coming out of your crapper going on three weeks now? Now, I ain't saying I'm Shakespeare. I'm trying to run a respectable theater. I got working folk coming in from Port Neptune trying to catch a little diversion. And all they can think about is the stink coming out of your shitter. Get it fixed. Huh. What? I found her that way! How about we don't? Uh... So, like I say, the um, reason I'm not playing the uh, remastered version is because uh, on PC it is worse. Like, it has an FOV slider, so I'm not basically looking for a viewfinder anymore. But there are worse problems than that, and I'll get to that in just a moment. Careful now. Would you kindly lower that weapon for a minute? That's a child down there. Don't be fooled. She's a little sister now. Somebody went and turned a sweet baby girl into a monster. Whatever you thought about right and wrong on the surface, well, that don't count for much down in Rapture. Those little sisters, they carry Adam. The genetic material that keeps the wheels of Rapture turning. Everybody wants it. Everybody needs it. That's weird. Oh yeah, remaster. Um, basically, the big problem I have with the remaster is that the saving... Is that saving in that game? It's a freaking lottery. Um, you, you can either save, normally, or you can try to save, only for it to quit, or only for it to crash the game, and just boot you back to desktop and it not actually saving whatsoever. It's pretty freaking annoying. Although that's not the worst thing that's happened to me in a Bioshock game, uh, particularly remasters. 
Um, uh, I've had. Uh, oh, hello. What did you do? Right. The other thing that happened was uh, in Bioshock 2, there's a thing where you have uh, big sisters. Um, in one of the big sister encounters, the game crashed. It's uh, the one in Dionysus Park. Shame, really, because Dionysus Park is one of my favourite areas in the game. And that kind of killed the uh, remaster for me, on the whole. Now, I have heard by way of a friend that the remasters on the PS4 and the Xbox One are substantially better. And that I don't necessarily doubt. Because I'm playing this on PC. Uh, I have the uh, original two Bioshock games on uh, um, PS3 myself. Um, but ever since I got them on PC, I thought, what the hell, may as well just play them on here. But anyway, uh, let's go for it. Uh, that's fire. And you're dead. Oh shit! Come up, come up, come up, come up. Oh. Come on, die, 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 die. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Mm, game some coffee. Shame I don't like coffee IRL. Right, let's go. Also, I just noticed that I still got the arrow indicator on. I need to get that off. But oh, Christ. You're trapped. Gonna try to override the exit from here. Okay. So tell me, friend, which one of the bitches said to you, the KGB wolf? with a CIA jackal. Here's the news. Rapture isn't some sunken ship for you to plunder. And Andrew Ryan isn't a giddy socialite who can be strapped around by government muscle. And with that, farewell. Or does the bomb, yeah? Well then, um... We're coming to the end of this episode anyway. Um... Yeah, this goes, I'll end it. Now you've met Andrew Ryan, the bloody king of Rapture. Now find your way to emergency access. Will do in the next episode. Um, because this is where I'm going to end this episode here. I'm going to try and keep up the tradition of 20, 20 25 minute episodes. Uh, you may notice I've also cut out the uh, loading screens just to uh, save you the uh, trouble. <laughs> so, next time on Let's Play Bioshock, we will be going through the medical pavilion, or at least a good chunk of it. See you then. <laughs>